Tonight's discussion comes as plans for a major development are germinating for a corridor of opportunity on Charlotte's east side. As an economic development hub called Spark Centro, and it will sit on nine acres in the Albemarle Corridor at the intersection of W.T. Harris Boulevard and Albemarle Road. We take a look tonight at how the campus is seeking solutions for economic obstacles in one of the city's most culturally diverse and under-invested areas and why some say helping folks there get ahead matters to everyone's success. On Central Avenue, just north of its split with Albemarle Road, it's a staple of the neighborhood, Manolo's Bakery. Here where we do all the packaging. From this spot on Charlotte's east side, owner Manolo Betanger has watched the trends for more than two decades. Through the years, Charlotte has been like an airplane. It has been, you know, the north and the south has one treatment, and the west and the east has another treatment. And those west and east are the most important thing for the airplane to, to be stable. Maps of Charlotte show that long-standing disparity in welfares and opportunities, often called the crescent and wedge. The city of Charlotte notes communities of color in concentrated poverty are generally found in that crescent or arc. It is on the east side of this arc where community leaders have announced new plans to create a spark. But this is truly an entrepreneurship hub and a workforce development hub. Grease Bailey with the Latin American Chamber of Commerce of Charlotte says the hub will be called Spark Centro. At the center of Albemarle Road and W.T. Harris Boulevard, Spark will house offices for workforce and entrepreneurship training, networking, and recruitment and even incubation sites for people to test their new business models. The chamber says Spark will also bring new development to an area that needs it. It's an area that the mayor has said that it has a lot of opportunity for beautification, for growth, uh, for building. Finally, you know, people are paying attention to West Charlotte and East Charlotte. East Charlotte where the minorities are located, where the welcoming communities are located, when people from the world are located. Now, to speak more on the need in that area, demographic analysis of the Albemarle Corridor found folks there are generally younger, have larger households, and are more likely to not own a home or have access to a car. Close to one in five there are living in poverty. By the way, the poverty rate for Charlotte overall is just over one in ten. Now, Spark Centro has a fundraising goal of $20 million and has already garnered at least $4 million, including more than a $1 million from Mecklenburg County alone. These uh, types of investments really can last a lifetime. The Treasury Department says Latinos are less than 20% of the U.S. population, but made up 25% of new business applications in 2021. This was amid a surge in overall startups following the pandemic. When Manolo Betancourt gives a tour of his bakery, Primas where all the magic happens. What you see is 20 plus years of hard work and courage and an immigrant's dream realized. I left a war country. I was part of the, the war of the Colombian war. Uh, my family was victim of Colombian crime. But it's just about, you know, keep fighting and keep moving forward and celebrating life. And while he says there is much to celebrate, it did not come without a struggle. One Betancourt says others on Charlotte's diverse east side might understand. I had a deportation order myself. I know how broken the system is. I know how what is to have immigration here in this parking lot and picking my employees up. Multiple agencies have shared fear of authority figures among Hispanics can be a detriment, especially when trying to offer services and assistance. Even though there are resources in the city or in other organizations, there's no trust there. So it's very difficult for them to jump out of their comfort zone and go and receive those resources. Grease Bailey with the Latin American Chamber of Commerce of Charlotte says Spark Centro, the economic development hub slated for W.T. Harris Boulevard and Albemarle Road, will meet a new sector of business owners where they are, physically and culturally. In the Albemarle Quarter, there are a lot of small businesses, a lot of diverse small businesses. So it's a prime location to help those businesses professionalize 
and really grow. One of Spark's main purposes will be training up business owners on the skills they need to succeed and offering incubation space to test new business models. While it's meant to help all, the support can be close to a group that faces different hurdles than others. Recent Stanford research shows Latinos with businesses are 50% more likely than white business owners to need funding or financing and are less likely to be approved for large loans, even when they have stronger qualifications. It's really an incredible opportunity for all of us to learn um, about those cultures um, and to really make investments that are really going to drive economic development and workforce development in that community. Mecklenburg County Manager Dina DiOrio says the county is chipping in $1.5 million in federal pandemic rescue funding towards Spark Centro, seeing it as an opportunity for Charlotte's future. You know, you have generational impact when you make these investments. So we might not see them immediately, but we can see them over generations. And I think that's, you have to be patient, um, but these uh, types of investments really can last a lifetime. Bettinker agrees and says spreading the support equitably makes the whole community stronger. It's about just being together in just one society and work for a, for a, a better country and a better future. Now, Spark Centro is set to open in the first quarter of next year. Another goal of this hub is to train up job skills for folks looking to carve out a career path. When I was in school, it was just a lot of trying to figure out what I was going to do, how I was going to do it. Ashley Urania says it's a struggle other first-generation students can likely understand. There's resources out there, but a lot of the times, because our parents didn't even know about those resources, we also don't know where to even look. Nonetheless, the UNC Charlotte grad is carving out her path, armed with a bachelor's in political science and Spanish, a translation certificate, and a minor in legal studies. Urania found Cultivando Talento, a Latin American Chamber of Commerce program meant to round out the life skills of young workforce hopefuls. Financial literacy, how to build your resume, how to use LinkedIn, to get yourself established. So it's helped so much especially for a first-generation student, to make sure that you set yourself up and you're not falling behind. Cultivando Talento is just one type of training program slated for Spark Centro, an economic development hub opening early next year at Albemarle Road and W.T. Harris Boulevard, a neighborhood with racial and ethnic diversity, including many Hispanics and Latinos. Employment is high in this area, but... A lot of the people who are working are under the poverty line. Grease Bailey with the Latin American Chamber says Spark Centro is a chance to improve career skills and outcomes. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics says Hispanic participation in the workforce surpasses the national average. Hispanic families on average make nearly $20,000 a year less than non-Hispanic white families, and they are twice as likely to be living at the poverty level. Bailey says as training helps people learn new job skills and they can move to other careers, employers can benefit too. It'll create a pipeline for a lot of these organizations, so, you know, a healthcare pipeline, a skills trade pipeline, a bilingual pipeline, a tech pipeline. It's an investment Mecklenburg County is supporting. County Manager Dina DiOrio says leaders are designating $1.5 million in federal pandemic funding to Spark Centro and the benefits they think it will bring. The more we can support that, uh, the more they'll be able to thrive, the more they'll be able to achieve you know, the dream that they want to achieve. And by putting the keys to that dream in a place more can reach, supporters say it's like putting a match to kindling ready to ignite. There will be no struggles to see where those resources are. They will be in their backyard. And I think that's really important to put those resources in front of the community that you want to serve. We can make sure that we all succeed and help build each other up.